Hello folks and welcome to Gotham City Nights. Today we've got something exciting to look at as Night Models have just released their new app for the Crew Builder. To access the app, we have to go through the Facebook page to the announcement that Night Models pasted. So if you follow down on the screen, let it load up. Here's the announcement. And within the announcement, there is a tiny URL link which will link you to uh, the Android Web Store Play Store. It's not available currently for iOS and it's only in beta on Android so you won't be able to search the Play Store for it but if you click through here you'll find it. So opening the tiny URL link takes us to the apps page on the Google Play Store. As you can see there's some images of what it should look like and a description from Knight. But let's open it, take a look closely. These are the sort of things we should expect to see. Say the description from Knight, all about the app. And then the important bit, let's open it in the Play Store. So here we are in the Play Store. Obviously at this point, I already have my version installed and it just gives you the same sort of thing. So. Let's dive right into the app. So as you open the app for the first time, you should get this sort of screen where it prompts you to download the data uh, as it's outdated or inexistent for the, for the game. So this is to do with the cards and the objective cards that the application will be showing you. So always hit OK in this case. Should then take a spinning wheel five seconds or so to get through to the next page. And here we are. This is the application. Let's look at the sections bit by bit. First of all, you can see in the top right, there is a little Batman icon for a login. At the minute, this allows you to use your Night Models login to log into the application. But as this is in beta, this is not actually connected through and hasn't seemed to work for me. Hopefully it'll allow us to access something with, in relation to our purchases or potentially um, in relation to our crews to keep them saved and shared. Before jumping into the juicy things, let's look at the other pieces. So you're down at the bottom, you have settings. If we go to settings, you have three options. You have the updates, which seems to be a dead button at the minute, but hopefully will allow the app to be pushed for updates whenever there are changes or new cards brought out. You have the about, which is literally just all the legal mumbo jumbo and what's important actually to be honest is the um the shout out to chris schmidt who made the original um, batman third edition web app that we've all been using for crew building and his database and it's extraordinary help that he's given so thanks to chris and then the important one here and quite intriguing is the eternal button so this eternal button seems to allow for miniatures that we would have considered uh, out of the game, potentially first edition and some of the second edition game uh, miniatures to be included in the app. So that, that's interesting because um, at this point I hadn't really used many first edition miniatures, maybe because they weren't viable, but also because it seemed like um, Knight was moving away from that. So an option for that is interesting. Next up, let's click into the rules section. Rules section has two pieces here, rule book and compendium. Compendium, if I click it, look at that, coming soon. Um, hopefully that will be the updated Compendium that Knight has been promising us for a while with a lot of the changes that we've seen on the cards to some of the rules and some of the traits. Um, hopefully it'll be searchable. Then what we have here is a rule book, which literally just links us through to a copy of the rules that we've all seen, well, hopefully seen many a time. Um, unfortunately, no opportunity to search for the minute so that's a little annoying but it means you can bring it with you without having to have any sort of separate file downloaded onto your device whenever you're playing a game of Batman. Again holding off on the juicy stuff for one second but we have the games section which is currently greyed out and um, I am hoping that this is a little bit more than just a tracking device for damage and um, potentially potentially something like um, 
the old gill ball app which allowed you to basically connect with your opponent so you could see the damage on their characters and the traits uh, that they were using without having to do some sort of look up yourself but anything is better than nothing so we'll see what that brings whenever it's out so let's get into the thick of it let's look at the cards section within the card section as you can see there are two bits the models and objectives models seem to be all linked under crews so if we just pick a random crew for example we go into soldiers of fortune you can see listed from top to bottom all the leader options all the free agent options and uh, sidekicks and of course the henchmen now what you might notice because we clicked that um, eternal button we have Lee Holidays and Big Sidekick and other assorted characters in here. Lee Holidays and Big Sidekick were part of the tournament cards that were given away at the end of second edition for any of the organized play kits. They probably don't translate perfectly to this edition, but it's interesting to see that they've given consideration to those older pieces. So I'll apologize in advance for what the video is about to do, but if we click in to any of the individual leaders. So let's take my favorite, Bane, Dark Knight Rises. The screen completely rotates, which is the frustrating bit because you're working in portrait and then it jumps the landscape and this is enforced so you can't flip back. But it gives you the card. Um, and as promised, if I click on traits, there is the meaning of the trait. Uh, you wanna know what True Love Talia does? There you go. You want to know what kill them does there you go so this is basically a top to bottom look at what every single miniature does you know it gives you obviously what they have taken away i guess um, by not printing cards anymore not sending cards out with miniatures but they're providing you with this application so it's filling that gap and hopefully everyone has a device that eventually this will be viable for and usable for in the future and bring to the table I understand obviously that having physical cards is still something people want. I'm sure there will still be printable versions of these cards, but at least there is a digital option in this digital age for people to use. So flipping back over, let's look now at the objective section of the cards bit. So this is again, it's just the top to bottom, everything that's in here. So if there's a card you want to look at, you want to look at Osito, for example. There it is, do a little filter for a seat though. Click on it and you've got the full card. Um, one thing to note obviously, with the release of the objective set one from Night Models, a lot of the cards that you might already have in print did get a slight errata. You know, some of them changed. So if you want to look at one which is very specifically changed uh, for the resource, the valuable commodities card. This is the updated version of that valuable commodities card where it is telling you now that the resource is no longer to do with plots, plots being a dead part of the game now, as you've seen, but it's now the ability to draw three cards. So this is useful for anybody who even has the printed versions because it will give you a way to look up what the actual card does whenever it's in your hand. So right now it's great to look at this from a information perspective, but you know what? We didn't really download this application just so we could look at cards and objectives without it being in game or building a crew. So let's go into the important bit of this, which Knight have to get right. So that's an actually usable application. Let's go into crews. So once we get into crews, you'll see right now, it's entirely blank. That's because I just downloaded a new version of the application. I was playing around in this last night, creating some of the lists that you might've seen on our YouTube over the last four months or so as we've been putting out content and trying to sort of create things. And as I said, this is a beta test. So we were also trying to break things to make sure like everything worked as intended, because obviously we want to feedback everything that doesn't work to tonight and they can pass that on to their developers. So you got two bits here, my crews and shared. We'll get through what that means in a minute. So let's dive into actually creating a crew. So hit the big yellow plus icon. Oh, look at that. And again, it gives you an ability to choose your side. So let's go with one that I've played a few times before. Let's go with 
the League of Assassins. And let's go with Tiny Talia. Tiny Talia. Recently seen beating the Titans up on YouTube. So once we create that, it then gives us all of our options. So this is beyond what we saw in the card section. It's actually now the ability to put them into a crew. So you can see the, the ranks, leader, leader sidekick, the amount of rep, the amount of funding they cost. At the top, you you know, we were able to set our rep limit before we moved in. That automatically sets our funding limit and tells you the amount of miniatures in your crew with the zero currently and the amount of cards because you can actually build your deck in this app as well. Um, the one thing I will say immediately is that whilst it keeps obviously the ranks, uh, leader, leader, sidekick, sidekick, then free agent all at the top, there isn't currently a filter which I can either search for a miniature or just show me all the henchmen, show me all the free agents, that sort of thing. So there's a lot of scrolling involved whenever you start building things. So let's put in Miranda and move on as we keep scrolling and scrolling. So Lady Shiva, she's definitely in there. We've got a long way to go to get to the henchmen. This, I am a person who favors henchmen. So there we go, Gustav, little Robin, all going quite smoothly so far. And there's our back of Gotham set thugs. Ubu, of course Ubu. Now, there's one thing that does frustrate me a little bit. Whenever you do select miniatures, sometimes it jumps to a different part of the scroll. So you're you're scrolling back up again to get where you need to. So there we go, once again, a little frustrating. So there's our eight miniatures. We're now at 349 rep of 350. Shows us we're short on funding, but we've got no cards whatsoever. So let's build in our card deck. A little bit of overdrive, valuable commodities for that. Die hard. And then, of course, here we go. There's the character cards. Yours to command, master's jewel. One thing I did note that somehow there's some reason Talia, um, the Talia card isn't being currently linked to any of the Talias. So again, it's just one of those bugs that we're going to hope they won't, you know, let them know about, and they'll work out whenever they figure things out. So 19 cards, oh, giving you a preview of what we're doing next. Uh, no, I don't think I want that muscle pain. Let's go with I'm feeling weird. So once you've filled everything out, it does remove all of the other options. So, you know, it, it counts down how much rep you've got left, for example, only shows you miniatures that you can afford. I've now got 20 cards out of 20 cards in my deck, so I can't put any more in my deck. There's no more options. So we swipe to the right. You will have seen there another little frustration from myself. It, it really is a little bit uh, twitchy as to where you swipe when you swipe right, because uh, it does sometimes bring up this option to jump to other areas of the game or of, of the application. But now that we're in the crew itself, let's see some of the things you can do. So first thing, we don't actually have a leader, so there's no one who's designated as the boss initially. So guess what? There's a little option. Okay, I could set Miranda, or I could set Lady Shiva. Well, let's set Miranda. Um, obviously, I can remove people, just like that, delete. Uh, and then the important bit is adding equipment. So, adding equipment, you just do that, you add equipment, and you scroll through what you want. Now, in my list, I'm fairly certain I had the combat braces on Damien for those re-rolls. If I don't want it, just exit out. Um, again, another little thing which I'm sure they're working on because I've, I've put it up into the uh, Arkham Rejects Discord channel where we have a, an app talk channel is that um, there are some problems, one of which Robin should only, Damien Robin, should only really be allowed to uh, take one piece of equipment because of his mentoring trait, um, but it does let you buy more than one. So this is just how you would build it. One of the things I noted is, and a lot of people have noted, is that there are a few more options for um, equipment than there used to be. So for example, sidekicks and leaders have access to this pure Lazarus trait uh, or piece of equipment, which gives the model regeneration. So Knight are making little changes. Um, I've seen around the place some of the costs of things have changed. For example, 
uh, radios have gone up in cost generally because radios in first and second edition weren't really worth what they are worth now. Uh, that free, you know, be anywhere on the board and get the Inspire from your leader as long as your, your boss is, is not, you know, KO'd is really important. Um, you know, so they, they've taken this opportunity to use this app as a way to change the, I'm not going to say change the meta because it's not trying to sort of rearrange who's the best and who's not, but sort of make little balances to a game which has, you know, a lot of bloat over the years as long as they're continuing to allow things. But yeah, so this is how you make your crew. Um, the one thing I will say is it, at the minute, there's no auto save function for the crew. So if I was just to leave right now, leave this page, go to another area in the app or close the app down, this crew would be gone entirely, even though I give it a name, even though I give it eight miniatures and 23 cards, you have to hit the save button to actually save it. So once I hit the save button, it then takes me to the crew's page and it shows me the list, the faction, and then obviously three options. So now we look at how we might actually use this with our friends. So if you go here on the little three options bit, you've obviously got the option to edit a list, copy a list, remove a list, or the new one, which actually is interesting, is the share list. So share, it brings up your QR code. Now, I would still like an ability to copy uh, a list in like a text format. Um, it's always very useful whenever someone's chatting about something, they don't have to go and grab their phone and scan a QR code. But if you're in a game store or at your friend's house, and they said, here's my list, and you're like, oh, well, what's in it? Well, this allows you to pull up that QR code and then basically scan your, your friend's phone. Um, if we go over to the shared area, obviously there will be a list of crews to be shared to you. If you press this plus button on the bottom right, what it will do is it'll immediately turn on my camera as if I was scanning a QR code. Now, I'm sitting in my house. There's uh, no reason for you to be looking at my feet during this video. And if there is, please don't direct any emails towards me. Um, that's not the sort of thing that the internet or myself needs, but that is how you would pull up your friend's cruise or say if someone shared it over Discord. As I say, I would like an ability to share that via text, just a, a text format of this person, this rep, this per equipment piece, this person, this rep, this equipment piece. Maybe not the objective deck because um, you know, then it would get a little bit long, but it's definitely something I would like to see implemented and definitely some of the feedback I'll be giving back. So I guess we'll look at some of the oddities that have turned up at the minute. So the first thing obviously I showed you was um, some of the gold cards um, from the tournaments. But we actually have, as I said, some of the Eternal Ministers as well. Here is the Arkham Knight version of Harley Quinn, uh, released in first edition as an actual leader. So there's still an option to take her. Now, um, I would suggest not because it doesn't bring that trickster trip uh, and the Joker crew relies heavily on that for scoring. But that's, uh, that's a thing you've also got. Scroll down if anyone remembers Mr. Hammer uh, from the Arkham City game. He's in there. And uh, brings that elite boss circus. So that they they have that option to bring those first edition miniatures in. And you know what? If they do, it, it's not awful. A lot of them are very characterful miniatures. You know what knight are like. They are always good at uh, putting out sculpts that are good. And those old sculpts are great. The only thing is, obviously, it has to be eternal because, you know, you can't walk into a shop and expect to see that or go onto their website and order it. It's just not possible. Um, but at the same time, it gives people who have old collections a way to put them on the table, a way to put them on the likes of TTS. Uh, and, you know, I'm sure there are much loved versions of the miniatures on eBay and such that people really, really wanted to invest. Another thing people have picked up on uh, is that if you scroll far enough down, we actually have Teams. Teams are in the application. Teams have always been a little bit of a sticking point, mainly because they've been all very different and probably quite hard to balance because especially whenever you move between uh, editions, the whole way of scoring uh, in the editions changes and it just makes it difficult to continue the rules that were basically there in the past along with the model costs. So with the flexibility of the app and you know the, the ability to change things gives, we're hoping that teams might become a more balanced thing. So let's look at one of my other favorites, the Teen Titans. 
So if we actually look in, just your normal Oracle in there. But if I actually go to the crew builder, so Oracle, just remember that is worth 50 points. If I go and actually create a team slash crew under the team Titans, let's call these guys the kiddos. And look, these miniatures are now 10 rep less than what they were in the other, uh, if they were to be recruited in a normal, normal crew. So important here to know is that previously uh, Titans had a complicated mechanism for getting cheaper miniatures, whereas whereby if for every two miniatures in the crew, they got a 30 rep extra on top of their rep limit. It seems that for teams, they've gone with a slightly different way of approaching it uh, across the board to give everybody a 10 rep discount which is not bad it probably evens out at similar ish lists and similar ish limits for the likes of titans but it maybe gives a bit of a buff to those crews that don't have um, as many magical choices the likes of suicide squad and that sort of thing so folks that is the uh, quick run through of the open beta of the batman miniatures game crew builder app i will say obviously it is an open beta uh, nothing in here is set in stone nothing here is official um, it's been been play tested or tested, shall I say, by the uh, game play testers over the last month or so. They've been working hard at it, but they're a small group. It's now open to basically everybody who has an Android device. Uh, one note on that is the Android device has to be Android 8 or higher. Uh, I don't think it works on any emulators that I find. This is why I'm recording this on my phone rather than something nice and tidy and smart like uh, BlueStacks. But um, you know, hopefully that will come uh, with the release, you know, as they build it out and do a more stable version. Um, I will urge anybody who, who does want to get into it, make sure you make notes on what you see is wrong or what you think is wrong. Feed that back through official channels. There's a, there's a email address in the Play Store um, that you can use the email. Obviously, we've got the uh, Arkham Rejects Discord channel with a specific channel open for the app. You can feed it back through Facebook if you need to, um, but it's all there. You know, there's ways to feed back what you, you know, what is wrong, what you don't like. You know, it doesn't have to be just something that breaks down uh, and doesn't work. If there's functionality that would make this better, like I mentioned a few times, you know, exporting the text, not spinning a card round in the landscape it would be a lot better for the game. Um, so right at the minute, as I said, Android 8.0 or over. Um, I know that does invalidate some older uh, older phones. Hopefully that will come at a later date. iOS, the uh, Apple Store, it has some more stringent tests for people to go through, for applications to go through. The app will be coming to that again as a beta by the end of the month. We're promised, but Apple are always very, as I say, stringent, but it does take some time. So that might not be hit that deadline. Uh, so Apple folks, I, I do feel sorry for you in that case. Beyond that, uh, there were reports on uh, Knight's official post that a lot of people getting warnings whenever they were installing the app that there was malware. Uh, their their official statement to that is that they don't you know, they they don't believe there to be a lot malware in, infected on this because obviously the application has to get through Google's own stringent tests and get to the Play Store, which it's there. So. Um, I trust that. It, I guess it's up to you to trust that yourself, but I haven't seen any issues or anything trying to steal my key logging, that sort of thing, <laughs> as we go. Um, so play around with it. Uh, make your crews like the way you would. Try and find situations that are different. Uh, please find out, find out all the new stuff that's in there. It's, it's hidden at the minute because we don't have the compendium. We don't have the full list of equipment which is available, but you can find it when it, if you put specific leaders in. So, for example, you saw that uh, regeneration piece of equipment that you can buy for the League of Assassins. That's really nice. I've always sort of looked at the sidekicks and free agent types and that as, you know, expensive and sometimes a little flimsy, but useful nonetheless. Regenerating an extra damage turn, that would make them a lot better. Um, so there's all little tweaks like that, which hopefully will be a sign of things to come from night where they can make things a little bit more interesting without having to produce actual you know plastic resin content that we have to go and buy 
This replaces the cards as they promised, as in the character cards. Um, I'd say hopefully it will be a little bit more easy to access those. You don't have to flip your phone around. And obviously the game section coming soon, as it says right there. Uh, interested to see what that brings. Um, and if there's anything that is changing with teams, I'm interested because teams have never seen balance. They either get too much or too little, in my opinion. They have too much of a choice of what they can pull from objective-wise or too little uh, a choice of miniatures or that sort of thing that they can actually get actual use out of. The, uh, the one team that has done anything really, I suppose, is Titans because they have access to that Inspire, which they can inspire their free agents and sidekicks as well. Anyway, that's all for me. I'm sure you've had enough of me. Uh, so uh, let's say poke around the app, enjoy it, and you know, obviously feedback where possible because we are testers. We're not customers in this case. Thanks, folks, and we'll see you next time.